Travis Pierre from KM Sparta Accessories.com, and of course, the Sparta Shop in Level 3, Quebec, Canada. We make videos to help you discover the hundreds and hundreds of products and accessories that we have available for your Canon Spider and Riker. We also make installation videos. We give you tips and tricks and we give you information to make your riding experience the most amazing possible. It's time for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Are you ready to take the adventure with the Spider Shop team? In three, two, one, let's go! In this video, we're going to be talking about the Space Saver Rack. This one for the Freedom Trailer. We've been making Space Saver Racks for trailers for a very long time. We've also got one for the 622 BRP Trailer. The ultimate goal is easy. It's a way to save space in your garage. So we thought, what better way when you don't use it to put it upright, push it in a corner. Assembly is going to be quite easy, as you can see on your space saver rack. When you get it, you've got a series of numbers here. So every time you've got two numbers that line up, you've got a hole there, you put a bolt right there. There was one big difference between the 622 trailer and this one here. On the Freedom Trailer, there was no way, no place for us to put our space saver rack. So what we did is we machined one of these parts here that we're going to be bolting on each side underneath the trailer. This is the main piece of steel. It goes from up and down on your Canham trailer. And we're simply going to use these self-tapping screws. We're going to fix this. And then you're going to have a place to put your space saver rack. Of course, the trailer is on the space saver rack. It's easy to see where the bracket is now. For you at home, you've got to get this bracket on. So what we're going to do is that we're going to bring the trailer down. We're going to show you how you can do this at home. Hey, Steve, it's your turn now. You, you got to come and show them how to bring it down and, and you know, put this piece on. <laughs> I was going to help him, but he says he wants to do it by himself. Yeah, that was easy enough. <laughs> I'm assuming that if you bought a uh, space saver rack for your Freedom Trailer, you own a Canem Spider, I recommend that you're using your trailer hitch. Hook up your trailer to it. This way, nothing is going to move. So what we did is we took a toolbox, lifted up the trailer, put it underneath the tire, and that's going to give us plenty of room to go underneath. We're simply going to do one side at a time. We've uh, provided you with some self-tapping screws like these ones here. You're going to need a 3 8 of an inch socket to be able to use this. Oh yeah, you're going to need an impact drill as well. As you can see, you've got plenty of room to go there. I'm, la I'm actually laying on my side. I'm outside the trailer. I'm not even under the trailer. And I can touch with my arm. So all you're going to need to do is hold it there with one hand. Get your impact drill in there, go through the holes and just go ahead and drill it there. Once you got one screw down, everything's going to be easier for that. Uh, as you can see, it's a tight fit between there and here. So it's not, you've only got like a quarter inch play there. You've got the welds that are there. So this is where you're going to go. You push it right against the trail up top in between here and here. So I'm going to walk over to the other side, get a space saver rack, bring it to my work table, and I'll walk you through how we put all the numbers together. We're going to open up the box. Go ahead and open up the hardware. The smaller bolts, nuts, and lock washer are for your wheels. Of course, you have your self-tapping screws. The bigger package that you have is for mainly all the holes in the numbers. I'm going to be using an impact drill. You're going to need a 916 uh, socket. 
And the beauty of these is that they're actually flange nuts. So once you get it started, it's just gonna lock into place. You won't need to have a socket on this side, have a key on the other side to make it tight. Flange nuts with the flange <laughs> is actually gonna lock down and bite down on that aluminum. You can start separating some of the pieces. The two longest ones are gonna be the ones that go on the side. Put those aside for now. We're gonna start with the three pieces that are all the same length. I think these are pretty much always the same. We try to put the numbers in the same place all the time. So what you're gonna do is that you're gonna lay down left and right. So left is gonna be with the number two right here. All right, it's got number two, it's got three holes that do this here. And then on the other side, you've got number one and you've got the three holes as well. So one on the right, number two on the left, then get that third piece that's the same length and look at that, two and two. So that means that the hole there, that's gonna meet up. And same thing here, you got one and one. You got a hole there, that's where it needs to go. And that's gonna be the same principle throughout everything. Numbers and holes need to meet up. You got two of these pieces with a 45 degree angle like that. So those are your side brackets to start going upwards. There's a left one and there's the right one. Once again, you got numbers. I got number 10 here, I got number 10 there. And this is gonna go on the inside, on the inside. I have number eight, number eight. Hey Steve, you did a good job with the numbers. Now you can take those two long pieces, your sides. I have a number nine, and I've got a number nine right here. I've got a number four, and I've got a number four right here. On this part here, that bracket here is on the outside. Inside, outside. Same thing for the other side. We're gonna do the middle part. It's this piece here with that. So we're gonna go on the outside for that one. At this point, I'm pretty much keeping all the bolts pretty loose, it's giving me some play. You're gonna grab the four longer bolts that you have. We're gonna need them right now for the top part. So this part needs to be the same as this one here, it needs to be on this side. You've got your numbers 12 and 11. I got 12 here and I've got 11 right there. We're gonna start off with number 11. When you're gonna be doing number 12, you're also gonna be doing number 14. This one is gonna go under. And now you have number 13. Only this one left, number 15 and 16. The only thing left to do, make everything tight and install the wheels. Now we're gonna give you a couple of tricks on how to insert that space saver rack underneath your trailer so you can stand her up. That was pretty, huh? <laughs> so Steve came up with a good point. He says, hey, don't forget to tell him when you're putting that space saver rack underneath your trailer, you gotta make sure that you have the room to stand it up. So, hey, you gotta think about that, right? So, hmm. It is a tight fit, so, yep, you're gonna have to lay on the ground to slide it in. The frame, and you've got the opening right there, so that's gonna go right on the frame, and you're gonna slide it forward. So it's like a guide to be able to enter right in the hole there. And you also have an opening right here that's gonna guide you once you slide it forward a little bit, it's gonna be right on that frame. There's a small bolt here that's in the way, you're gonna have to slide underneath it. The piece that we needed to insert, that small tongue in the opening, that's in. But as you can see, the space saver rack is not all the way against the frame we're gonna need a little bit of help. So you're gonna go behind here as Steve is and you're gonna lift up on your trailer a little bit. And as you lift up, then you can push your rack in. Now Steve is gonna move that space saver rack left to right 
And you can hear that he's all the way at the bottom. He's all the way there. So Steve is going to take position right now. He's going to show you how he does it. He's going to be facing that wall of where the fridge is. And once he started to lift it up, he's going to transfer the weight and he's going to be start facing the trailer. If you're watching this video, you need a space saver rack, whether it's for a 622 trailer or your BRP Freedom trailer, you know where to go. See how easy that was? Assembly, lifting it up, everything there. Hey, CanonSpartAccessories.com. Until next time, my name is Pierre. I'm out.